Good evening and welcome to our live crafting session this evening. My name is Jenny McCormack and if this is the first time you've come across me, I'm from Gemini Crafts and I am an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the market town of Brackley, which is in Northamptonshire here in the UK. I hope everybody is keeping well and that you're having a good week so far. Hi Lynn, thanks for joining us. So nice to have you with us. If you are joining us live, do say hi. It's always nice to know who's watching. And if you're watching on replay and you have any queries or comments or you just want to say hi as well, then please do so. Either in the comment section on Facebook or if you're watching this on YouTube in um, the comment section there. So this week we've been using the Abundance Beauty decorative masks. So masks, stencils, whatever you uh, wish to call them. This is a set of seven stencils, four of which make up the sunflower. Um, and there's those four there, which you can see from our live on Monday. There's one with a houndstooth design that will go all the way over the back of a card. Sorry about the reflection. Just move that up a little bit, maybe. Um, and then we have the, if I can just unhook them, the autumn leaves. So these have got leaves and acorns. And then we have the cute snowflakes that you may have also seen when I did the very cute bundle. Today I'm going to use the same stencils. I'm going to put these back in their packet. I've already lost them twice this week. Thank you, Lynn, and hi to you, Carol, too. Let me show you some of the cards that we've made at Coffee and Cards. So I've got some traditional colours here. I'm just going to move that. It's quite a big... Um, reflection isn't it just going to put a piece of paper there there we go so we've got this one here so these are traditional yellows to make um sunflowers this has got the sending hugs and i've also added some little dots on here from the same same stamp set the sending hugs comes from not sure how much of that you can see on the screen particularly though and then i've got the blue version with the grey and that was the one I did online on Monday morning that's the one that you can see I'm thinking of you got a nice bright hello with melon mambo and gorgeous grape and then this one here has got the autumn leaves and for all of these I just used our blending brushes these ones here with ink and just went over the stencil so I'm going to start with that but I want to use some embossing paste this evening they could be gerbers absolutely they could especially these ones um, and they often have yellow centers don't they gerbers okay so what I'm going to do is move this over here Hopefully that's in the right position for you to see. I'm going to use this to mix up my embossing paste on. I'm just going to start. Hi Jeanette. Just going to pop this down with a little bit of uh, washi tape. Congratulations on your latest great grandson Jeanette gorgeous photo that you posted to say that you've been to see him I'm just going to stamp happy birthday in early espresso to get us started I'm using happy birthday from the artistically inked stamp set it's going to pop that on the bottom you could put it on the top 
and of course you could have this whole thing in landscape rather than portrait okay now what I've got is my stencil here with the sunflower well the flowers and there's three other stencils there are the leaves there's the centers and then the center detail now because I'm going to use embossing paste um, and I haven't tried this out so what I'm actually going to do is start with my sunflowers on the paper just with a little bit of ink to position them I'm going to pop that there and these masks have got a little um, notch in the left hand side but you can see that under my left hand here tiny little notch so they're very easy to line up to be honest but I'm just going to mark that on my grid paper with a pen like so I'm just going to put a little bit of tape down just so I don't have to keep holding it you can use a stamparatus for this or a stamp positioning tool is perfect for this technique okay so I'm just going to put a little bit of colour down before I put my embossing paste on so this one is yellow so my blending brushes the main ones don't get cleaned in between so it's a mixture of yellows on here and I just want to lay this down so that when I put the embossing paste on it's got some ink underneath and also because it's not going to dry straight away I want the centers of the flowers already on there because I'm not sure whether I'm going to put the centers with embossing paste or not so let's just put that layer on there so only just lightly because it's hopefully going to be all covered up so there's our outside flowers and I just want to do the inners so there's this one here so I'm just going to do this really quickly so you can line up that little notch that will give you the instant alignment like so that and I think I've probably got enough brown on this brush again you want to start off light and then get darker there's not much on there I'm going to use a little bit more pecan pie on this brown and I did actually clean clean off my other brushes so that I've got more that I can just change colors with hi Michelle how are you doing this week hope you're all right disappointed I know about having your appointment rebooked okay so I've got that one there just for a little bit of light in the center you can just leave it like that now because I've got the lights on it is bleeding this color slightly so this looks really pale to you um, because I've got the lights on I'm just going to turn this light down a little she says so it's not quite as bright okay I'm just going to do a little bit on the inside which is this one here So I'm just going to take the brown brush into early espresso. Like so just for that detail, so I can feel it moving a little bit. 
so I may leave the centres just inked and have the petals with the embossing paste. Okay, right, so what I'm going to do now is move these out of the way. Oh, back to work on Monday, okay. Is that good? Are you ready to go back? Okay, so I've got a silicon mat. You can use a piece of plastic, works equally well. I like the silicon mat because it's got a bit of weight against it. And I've got some of our embossing tools here, palette knives. So what I'm going to do is open my shimmery white embossing paste. And this one has been open for quite a while, but as long as you make sure it's well sealed, there's a cap and a sponge cap as well, um, then there's no reason why that won't go on for quite a long time. Obviously, if the air gets to it, then it will begin to dry out. I've probably got far too much on there. Okay, make sure that's tidied up. Okay, three hours a day. Okay, that's good. Right, so what I'm going to do is take my Daffodil Delight oh, shimmery paste on my fingers um, and just drop this onto the embossing paste. Add a little bit, mix it around until you get the colour you want. So if you want it to go darker, add some more paste. If you want it to go lighter, sorry, if you want it to go darker, add some more ink refill. If you want it to go lighter, add some more paste. Okay, I think that will do. It's quite a nice sort of sun colour, sunflower colour. Gosh, there we go. Right, so I'm going to grab that, this one back that's got the petals on it. Pop it onto here and line it back up again. Like so, and then add these. Now, I didn't have to put the ink on the sunflowers first, but I was thinking if I missed a little bit, then it would have the yellow ink underneath. That's 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 my thinking. I think you could certainly do it without. Okay. Let's just put this one across here. Right, so I'm going to pick up this embossing paste, which is shimmery, so it's got a bit of sparkle on it. And I'm going to apply it over each of these sunflowers. Then I'm going to press it down and then sort of scrape it off as if you were tiling or something. And you always want to mix up a little bit more than you need because it's difficult to mix up a second batch to exactly the same colour. Okay, And this stencil is nice because it's six inches by six inches, so approximately, so it covers the whole card. You don't have to worry about the embossing paste going off the edge or anything onto your card. So, I am adding plenty, <laughs> probably a little bit too much really. Okay, so having, it, having got it on there, what I'm going to do is take the excess off, like so. And that gives me an opportunity to make sure that I haven't got any huge gaps. There we go. 
and I'm not going to let the whole thing go. I'm just going to check. Oh yes, oh yes, that's worked. So let's just undo this. Now you want to be careful when you lift your mask off that you want to lift it clean away like that because otherwise you can brush it on the damp embossing paste. Okay. Liz says great tip, but I wonder which tip that was. <laughs> I can't remember. Right, if you're using embossing paste, you want to clean this fairly quickly. You can just put it straight into some water. Um, let's just move this over so I can wipe this down. If you're going back over to do another one straight away, you could leave it without wiping it down, but I tend to favour wiping it straight away. If you leave the embossing paste on and it goes dry, it's a bit more tricky to get off. It will come off. Okay. Let me see if you can see the detail. Now, I haven't put the leaves on here. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to lift this up. Now remember, this is still wet. I mean, it's not soaking wet, but it is wet. So I don't know if you can see. You can see the shimmer, I'm pretty sure. Like that. Oh, mixed up more paste, that was it. Um, and then this has got the paste on, so it is slightly 3D. It's difficult for you to see. You can see it slightly as I turn it over there but it's got a really fabulous effect and I do love the glitter shimmer it's so nice and it just shines through even though we've added the colour so I'm thinking I, I like this with the brown centres so you can allow this to dry and then put your stencil back on and either stencil or ink the centers. You could certainly use a stencil for that. It would definitely work. But how fabulous is that? And yes, they look almost like felt, for want of a better description, but hopefully you can see that. So if you wanted to add the detail in the middle with um, more embossing paste, looks like mustard, doesn't it? Um, then you would need to let this dry now you could heat set it with a heat gun uh, that would definitely help it speed it up um, let's have a look it's really effective isn't it and if I wanted to add the leaves the same thing applies really so as I've got a little bit left there what I'm going to do is just on here, just put maybe two of those flowers, just so I'm not wasting the um, embossing paste. So I'm trying to find a piece of paper to put it on. Because this is quite dry on here already. It doesn't take very long to dry, especially if it's quite warm. Obviously, if it's very damp or anything, it will take longer to dry. Uh, let's just put these two on here. So what I'm going to do with these is leave the middles out. And just going to do those two. So I'm going to take a piece of post-it note paper. the edge around and what I'm going to do is put it underneath here okay and I'm just going to tear that very edge anyway. Okay, so this way I can just get the two 
flowers. I really want to do a pink one now, but let's not waste this that I have here. So let's just apply this onto onto these two. So I'm just going to watch that I don't catch the edge here. So this is one that I'm adding where I haven't done any stamping beforehand. Not stamping, stenciling. So what I'll do is when this is dry, I will stencil the middles or I might mix up a little bit of brown. Now, just going to scrape that. Still got quite a lot, haven't I? So when I say make more than you need, don't go mad. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is actually, so those are the two there. Cute is that. Um, I'm going to, which way do they go? I don't really want them in the same. So I've got to be careful now not to catch that. So if I put that down, I'm going to catch the end of it, aren't I? So I'm going to leave that to dry for the minute and I can already feel that this has dried on here. There's going to be glitter everywhere. Okay, so hi Zanna. So I've got this one here with our embossed glitter. This one I haven't done the centres so I'm going to try and do those afterwards. What I might do is let that dry and try and put some um, a brown ink. I'm just going to wipe these down. And I just want to try a pink. So sorry to waste this little bit but needs must. Oh yes, embossing paste and inks. So you can see this is already drying on here. So what I'm going to do is turn this piece over. Put a piece of paper underneath it. Okay, turn that over. So I just want to try some with some pink. Um, let's see, have I got a piece of card to hand? Oh, there's a pink piece. Okay, so let's wipe this down, add some more paste, and then I'll use some melon mamba, I think. Let's see what I've got. Melon mambo. So I'm using our reinkers. You can buy reinkers individually or in sets for all of our main classic colours. So the brights, the neutrals, etc. Okay. Right. Just want to put that somewhere. I tell you what would be a really clever idea, and that would be to have a um, a test piece that you put some embossing paste onto, that you could see whether that piece was dry. So you don't put your fingers in your artwork. Right, let's just do something pink. Hi, niece. How lovely to have you join us. So, niece, my friend Denise, lives in South Africa. And I've known Denise for, goodness me, many, many years before I lived up in this area. So I lived here for 26 years. And it was a good five, ten years before that, I want to say. Okay, so this is Melon Mambo. And obviously if you want it slightly variegated, you could 
leave it slightly unmixed so don't you know don't mix it all up okay now the bottle um the jar of embossing paste here i've had for a long time so long it's got the old stamping up logo on it but if you look after it keep it sealed just make it's a screw top just make sure it's really well sealed um it should last you a long time okay let's give it a go so i'm going to do one in landscape because i keep meaning to and i haven't and it's got a slight incline that way i think so let's stick that down let's put a little bit onto the paper now i haven't got a completely clear surface so i'm hoping i don't get a mix of colors too much here there's a little bit of yellow still on here but actually i don't think it'll matter so this is a bit of melon mambo nice striking pink the more you add the deeper that color will get you could i guess use food coloring tiniest drop because it's more water based but the ink is water based so I think you could certainly do that there we go so you can see well I can see the sparkle hopefully you can so as long as you've got this surface well on a um, well placed on a flat surface, it shouldn't move any of the um, embossing paste underneath. There we go. Okay, and again, you want to be able to lift it cleanly away. You don't want it to move. There we go. And I say I would put that straight into a bowl of washing up liquid. I'm just going to put this on here for the minute. There we go. So I'm hoping you can see that. You can't see the depth of the embossing paste. But hopefully you can see the detail right let's see if this is dry yeah i think it probably is i'm just going to give it a blast with a heat gun and i just want to see how it comes out if i um use a blending brush in the middle then loves the color thank you then So I'm going to put this somewhere to make sure um, it's nice and flat. So I have shut the door so the cats don't come in. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. And let's see. So just wondering whether to do an orangey centre. What do we think? Right, let's grab. So I've got this one. Um, okay. I'm just going to grab a little bit of. Oh. 
maybe Calypso Coral. Just to see. So it's yeah, sort of coral colour. So I'm going to use this over these two. Now you can see the well, I can see the height, the way that's sitting on there. I don't think you can, but you can see it's throwing a shadow. So let's have a look and see how this will work. So it's embossing paste, and now I'm adding the centre, like so. Let's just, just going to move it slightly because of the embossing paste. The stencil is sitting slightly high. There we go. Okay, so that definitely works, doesn't it? And then let's do the detailed one in pumpkin pie. Mm, yeah, let's try it. Okay, so this is the detailed one. And those are completely dry. So I'm wondering, no, just just try it, Jenny. Right. Get the angle right. There's one and two. is my practice one. Let's have a look and see. Okay, it does give quite a nice 3D effect. If I lift that up, if you can see that. So I've got the sunflower there and then this was the one that I did in the other, the other order. So I did stamping first and then the embossing paste and I think that looks better because the stencil is closer to the paper before the embossing paste goes on. So you can press it and get more defined elements in here. Whereas with this one, because you've got the embossing paste on and then you apply the stencil, the stencil is slightly higher. I don't know if you can see the difference really. So there we go, there's that one there. And then that one. Let's just try just putting a little bit more pressure on that side. And if you've just got ink on these, these will just wipe off or you could pop them into a bowl of warm water with a little bit of washing up liquid in. So I'm just going to try a little bit more pressure on that side. So yeah, I definitely think, although I change colours to be fair, yes, thank you Lynn, definition of stenciling is, is harder. I guess if I change the colours it might be different. Um, and then let's have a look at the pink one. And then this will just get layered up. Put that on there. 
so his are fabulous pink it really is stunning and you can just feel that texture so I definitely recommend if you're doing this have a test piece of card and when you put your embossing paste down on here, add a little bit through your stencil on a spare piece of card. Use that one to work out whether it's dry or not before you then go back in and put the elements on. Or, as we said before, do the stenciling first. You could obviously put paste through here. You'd have to be a little bit careful because this now sits slightly high. It, it would be very easy for the paste to go slightly underneath. All right. So if I was doing this, I'm not going to press it down because that's not quite dry. But if I was doing this, I would make sure I was holding it really um, with a lot of pressure on each one before I then did the detail like so I'll show you the difference actually just move this one out of the way so this is with a lot of pressure on the stencil so edge and if I do it here it's probably going to look the same <laughs> just so I not put any pressure near it yeah you can't really see I can see the difference but I'm not sure you can <laughs> on the camera it's slightly less defined than this one but you could also say well you Jenny you put more pressure on that one that's why it's harder Jappy Dodgers yes okay right yes it does rather doesn't it so i've got this one i've got this one i'm not really happy with that coloring so i might just wipe that down and try and put some espresso on it let's just wipe this down and then i'll just make a card out of those so i think the other one that this would work well with are those autumn leaves which is this one here So a little bit more fiddly because you'd be have, have to be careful when you put the embossing paste down but one of the um, tools that you get is quite a fine pointed palette this one here so that would be easier just to spread over an individual area so you could have in this case there's like four colours, three, four colours. So you can have three little or four little pots of embossing paste and ink and then just say pick out one particular style of leaf, do that in one set of colours, then maybe the acorns and the oak leaves in a different set, and then maybe this one different. So that I think that would be really effective as well. Thank you, Jeanette. Yes, have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Hi, Monica. Thanks for joining us. Sorry I hadn't seen you um, join us. So we've been using embossing paste with these masks. So just bring this one up to the screen. It's probably, yeah, it's dry now. So I'm hoping you can see that. It just looks glittery. So obviously you could do the same with Winker Stella, but it has got the height and the texture. And embossing texture is great for people that um, have problems with sight. Um, and this is the pink one that I've just done. There you go. Just wondering what centre, what colour centre should I put with the pink ones? I'm just going to redo these with a bit of 
tastes better. So Lynn's our expert in gardening. What centre should my gerberas have? Uh, right, let's find the brown one of those. Bit of that. Let's see if I can recover this. Now, the other thing is if your embossing paste isn't dry, it is potentially going to bleed any ink into the embossing paste. It will just soak it up. So just be aware of that. Just gonna try and see if I can make this darker. But I think definitely do the centers first. And this would be lovely with the snowflakes, wouldn't it? in glitter and a light blue yeah that's better isn't it but and if you can see it's just slightly bleeding into the center and that's because they weren't quite they weren't quite dry but hopefully you can see the effect still does look rather 3d doesn't it i think i need to put another one on there or maybe the leaves or maybe I'll cut it down, put it onto a square card with a sentiment here and a leaf up there. Let's grab a leaf and just put that on there with a bit of green. enough in here just about there we go so embossing paste and masks so if you've got other masks or stencils doesn't have to be stamping up ones um, you do want them to be, you know, some sort of some sort of plastic, though. So, um, then you can have a little bit of fun. Let's see. I have a stack of sentiments which have all disappeared, but I think I'm going to cut that down, pop a sentiment here, and make that into a square card. And then this one is just going to get layered up onto an espresso and a white card which is what I have here so I'll just do that quickly and do bear in mind you can just see where the card is slightly dimpled and that's because the embossing paste is still slightly damp underneath so your best bet is always try and leave them as long as you can if you want to leave them overnight that will definitely work and just don't apply pressure <laughs> there that will do. and then I've got a white card so not usually here on a Wednesday as you may know normally here on a Thursday evening but I'm out to the local amateur dramatics tomorrow so I'm looking forward to that but I means I can't be in two places at once okay I'm just avoiding putting any pressure on my flowers for the time being so there's that one there and then I'm just going to oops lucky must be nearly dry because I just ran my hand over that uh, let's just see I think I've got a hello in this stamp set 
that I had right in front of me a second ago. My artistic link has got a sweet little best wishes. I'll use those. And you can mix and match. You could use some leaves from, from a stamp set if you didn't want to use the leaves on the stencil. So let's pop this one on. Best wishes. And this will go on to a white card. I know I love going to see them. You didn't want to come tomorrow, did you, Michelle? Are you free to come tomorrow? Maybe you're already going. But I can pick you up if you would like. Okay. So I'm looking for my trimmers. nowhere to be seen but I'm going to cut that make it into a square card and then I might just add a little bit of bling to this I've got some gold oh my goodness I've got a desk that just swallows things up because they had them out and ready and now I can't see them okay I won't keep you any longer I've had enough of your time thank you no doubt I'll find them as soon as I turn the camera off so they're not coming to fruition at the minute but I'll add a little bit of bling onto this okay just to finish that one off but I hope you like it hope you like the effect you really do need to see it and feel it in person because it's got um, quite a rough texture. Um, there's my square one that I'm going to finish off. And then here's my vibrant melon mambo flowers. And I'm hoping Lynn is going to tell me what colour the middles should be. Da -da -da. For a gerbera. And then I'll finish that off. I might put, do another happy birthday across the bottom. Or I could do it this way. Add a couple of leaves on. And finalise it. But there's one finished card at least for you. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, hi Scylla. You've joined just as I'm wrapping up. Sorry about that. Nothing personal. Um, but here's our embossing paste and ink really pleased with it worked well definitely ink the centers with the blending brush first and then lay the paste on top because this one I did it the other way around I know I've changed the colors but it's just bled into the embossing paste on the flowers and then this one I will finish off so thank you so much everyone so I won't be here tomorrow evening but there is something else I want to do with the stencils so I might try and pop on on Friday and show you how to use your stencils in your die cutting machine to create an embossed background so that's my plan so I will try and pop on um, on Friday after coffee and card and show you how to do that so I hope you like the designs. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great evening or morning or afternoon, depending on where you are and when you're watching. Thank you so much for being patient with me. I look forward to crafting with you again real soon. Bye for now.